everyone and welcome back to Rachel and Bella Crafts. So for today's video I'm going to show you how to make a basic junk journal with a bit of a twist but it's really really simple really, really easy and I'm hoping that we'll get this done you now within uh, the space of the video. So for this video I'm going to be using a brown paper bag. I've got uh, some doilies that I've uh, colour dyed with a slight blue tinge. Um, a map page. I have got 10 sheets of uh, different colour dyed papers. So there's some tea dye and some blue and some with a tinge of a bit of a purple colour on it. I've got um, some book pages and some more book pages. I've got um, book page, a botanical book page. Isn't that lovely? I've got uh, some old writing paper out of a writing pad and I've also got um, the index of um, another old uh, botanical book and then I have some more coffee dyed paper, well actually it's tea dyed paper but I think it was green paper and I dyed that. So let's get started. Okay so to make the cover of Okay, so to make the cover of the journal, I am just going to use a piece of 12 by 12 cardstock, uh, mainly because I have lots there and it needs to be used. Um, there are lots of different things that you could use for this. Um, I have previously used um, brown um, cardstock A4 size paper. Um, I've also done one previously where I've covered it in uh, wallpaper. So there are lots and lots of different things that you can use for your cover. I'm going to keep this fairly simple though for today because obviously I want to show you um, how easy it can be. So the first thing that we're going to do is fold the um, 12 by 12 card in half and then I'm going to cut it down to A4 size. So in order to get that measurement I've simply taken one of my pages and folded it in half and then I have um, folded it and cut it then to size. So here's what I did earlier and as you can see I've left just a little bit around each side. So I've got a little bit at the top, a little bit at the bottom and then I've left a little bit of space at the front because my pages will grow as I add more inside. Okay so that's the cover. Now I'm going to choose the pages that I'm going to put inside of this the journal. This is a pocket I made in one of my previous videos. Um, it's, I will put it in the link below but it is basically one of the most easy pockets that you can do. You simply take a um, double page and fold it in half and then you take one side and you fold two triangles down and there you have a nice pocket and I'm going to place that inside the journal because that then will form little pockets there. So that one's done ready and um, I'm going to put the doilies in. So the first thing I need to do is fold my coffee dough paper and put that over there because that's for the second half and then we will see the pages coming together. Okay, so that's all of the papers ready. Time now to put them together and make the inside of the journal. I've finished my 
signature. I've got 11 pages in, in total um, and a nice mixture of uh, sizes and different types. So I'm quite happy with that. And the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm just going to trim down um, the edges because obviously as the more pages go in, the further that they protrude. So I'm just going to cut some of those down so that they're all nice and neat and then they will fit then, hopefully, nice and neatly in our cover. Okay, so for the next bit of the journal, we're going to take a brown paper bag. Um, I've just got a simple like lunch style bag here. Uh, and what I've done is I've removed the handles and then simply folded it in half. So that's then left me with, so you, you may have it, you have a standard brown paper bag like that. That'll do just fine. Um, Cause we are just gonna leave that bit there tucked down and then we're gonna just fold it in half. Um, don't worry if you have taken your hands off and there's any little marks because we'll be covering all that up. And then I have taken some coffee dye papers and a little bit of the scraps that we cut off from the other pages earlier and then just cut them down to make um, a little notebook which is going to sit inside there. Now this is going to go on the top of our journal here and that will then create um, a nice big pocket and a little notebook and then a little tuck spot. And that, you know, that's just the cover basically before we get into um, what's inside. So there are lots of different ways that obviously you can finish your journal off. Um, you can bind this notebook with, um, by using pamphlet stitch or you can run it through your sewing machine because that would fit quite nicely under there. Um, if you want to stitch around the edges of your cover, um, that's fine or if you want to stitch any of the pages I'm going to keep this fairly simple today because obviously I just want to um, demonstrate this to you and then we will bind it but before we bind it I am going to just do um, some collaging on the cover and also I want to cover my brown paper bag <laughs> Journal. Um, 
and as you can see, um, you know, it was very straightforward. I haven't yet bound it because I'm going to um, add some bits and pieces inside. So just to have a quick recap, um, I've used the cardstock to make the cover. I've added a sheet of um, my kit paper over the top from our uh, vintage blue um, kit. I've also then, um, I know I said I wasn't going to stitch, but I, I added some stitching around the edge just to um, give it a little bit more, um, you know, make it a bit more stable. And I just think it gives it a bit of a nice finish to it. Um, what I haven't done though is I haven't glued the front edge here down or the back edge because I just thought that was a really simple way to add, um, you know, extra tuck spots to the journal. So inside then we've put together all of our um, pages and I'm going to now very quickly um, show you how to add um, some interest to these pages, obviously without, um, you know, it taking a very long time. Um, then we've also made a topper, as I like to call it, I'm not quite sure what it's called, but I call it my topper. Um, and I've taken a brown paper bag and I've collaged then using the same kit onto the top. Um, I've taken then uh, a picture from our Blue Hues um, collage kit. It's actually a photograph of my grandma. And I've added a little bit of fa frayed fabric then behind um, just to make it stand out a bit. And I just stitched around the edge of the photograph to uh, make that stand out. And then you've got a nice big wallet sized pocket in there. And then in here, Again, I've just collaged onto this. I've collaged some more of the um, book, some more of the papers from the vintage set onto the back. And then I've stitched using my sewing machine, um, some pages, uh, some coffee dye paper and uh, some lined paper. And there's also then a little tuck spot then in the back if you want to put any other little notes and things. So that will be stuck onto the front cover, but I will do that at the end because obviously if I'm working on the inside, um, I need to be able to get in and out. So for the pages inside, something that's just kind of a really quick way of um, adding some interest, but obviously leaving, um, you know, lots of space to write in, because that's, you know, kind of the general idea of this journal is that it is a writing journal. Um, I've just printed off some um, pages from some of our kits, and I'm going to, again, similar sort of uh, thing, kind of uh, add a bit of a collage effect to some of the pages and then one or two small pockets inside.
I'm ready to bind the journal now. I've literally just added in some really easy um, little tuck spots and pockets. Um, there's another one there. So when I add um, a bit of ephemera in then later, um, you know, we've already then got ourselves some really natty little cubby places. So obviously we've got a, a nice fold out bit there, but you can tuck something in there. And um, we've got lots of writing space. Nice big deep pocket here if you wanted to put a tag in there. Um, again, another little pocket here. And this has all been like really simple and straightforward because um, I, I, I've used, um, obviously you can, you, you, know, you can do this with a, a magazine, with anything, anything that you've got lying around that, you know, will fit with your theme. Any kind of paper or card, um, you know, when you buy clothes and you have like the, 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 the nice big square tags on them, you know, you could collage over that or if it's got an interesting pattern, great, make it a nice pocket. Um, but yeah, now I'm gonna have to do something with this page because it's not straight and it's irritating me. So I'll probably just put some edging around that after with a bit of uh, material or lace because um, there's nothing that can't be put right if it's not right. Another nice big tuck space in there. Um, another pocket there. And then on the back then I've done a little tuck space there. Um, another thing that you could add, of course, if you do have uh, long strips is you could put um, some belly bands in that way or if you have a longer piece, you can put one in that way. Um, and they're just all really simple additions to your journal. So I'm gonna bind this now. Let's see. Yeah. and I keep these end bits because when you're doing little journals like this um, you find very often you've got a bit in there that that's perfect so let me thread my needle so that's done ready there we go and then just double check now before you um, bind journal that everything is where it should be so you know make sure all your pages are in place make sure everything's the right way up um, if you want to change any pages around obviously this is the last time to be able to do it um, pop that in the middle move that up there a bit okay going to do um, two holes in this because it's not a massive journal and um, I think that'll be uh, more than enough and it's a nice simple um, it's a nice simple stitch for you to use to to, to bind then um, okay so a hole down in there And then a hole there. So there we go. So I'm going to go down through the one. say oh yeah it'd be nice and straightforward and then I lose my hole I can see it I got it here we go superb I don't know what happened there. Why didn't that go tight? So my fingers in the way. Let's try that again.
days, it's just very, very difficult to um, to do up the binding. I don't know why. Okay, I'll uh, trim that down later. I don't want to take it off just yet, just in case I make any changes. But there you go. Journal's now bound. That was really simple. Um, obviously, if you wanted to do a pamphlet stitch, that's fine. A pamphlet stitch is three holes, so one, two, three, and you would go um, out through the middle one, down, back up through this side, back down to the middle one, back out, and then back out again. But um, when I'm making um, these smaller um, kind of notebook journals, well, I say smaller, but it's, it's, it's smaller compared to some of the ones I make, um, I tend to just put um, the two in because if I then want to um, add anything it's really not hard then to just undo that and then you know stitch extra pages in or what have you rather than um, having to un unthread the whole thing. So that's the whole journal bound. That was really easy. I hope you found that easy and I hope you found that easy to follow. Um, and I'm simply now just going to add now our little topper to the top. At this point, obviously, if you wanted to, you could add, you know, um, bits of lace, material, anything else if you wanted a collage behind. Obviously, now it's time to do it before you place it on. I'm not going to. I'm just going to place the topper on there and keep it quite simple for today. Okay, so before you stick it down, obviously, just th bear in mind, if you're going to want to use any of these sides as extra tuck spots, I'm not going to bother because we've got that lovely big uh, pocket in the front. And obviously, I've got that tuck spot then in there. So that will be fine. So let's just glue him down. our finished journal so I just added a little bit of trim on the front there just to uh, kind of disguise that little tuck spot behind me um, but she's all ready to go so maybe in the next video I will show you how to um, embellish it and decorate it but as for a basic journal I can't say simpler than that hope you enjoyed the video if you have give us a like and if you haven't already subscribed if you wouldn't mind subscribing um and leave a comment with any um questions or anything like that and i'll get back to you as soon as i can take care have a great day bye now